Well, a blistering hearing on Capitol Hill today. Yeah, that's right. Big tech CEOs, including Mark Zuckerberg, coming face to face with parents who say they lost their kids to social media. Fox Eyes' Linda Schmidt joins us now in studio with some of the key takes takeaways. And Linda, it got so heated, and then there's this bipartisan consensus that platforms are not doing everything they can to protect kids. You nailed it right there. You know, first of all, it was cold outside today, but it was hot inside that hearing. The key takeaway from today is that social media uh, CEOs they believe that they are already doing everything they can to keep children safe. But on the other side are lawmakers who accuse the CEOs of not dealing with the dark side of their industry. And it led to some heated exchanges. Sitting in the front, parents holding up pictures of their children they say died as a result of social media. Rose Bronstein's son committed suicide after he was cyberbullied on Snapchat. More and more children are dying each day, and if that's the case, then they're not doing enough. The Senate Judiciary Committee grilling social media CEOs, accusing them of not doing enough to keep children safe on their platforms. It led to an intense exchange between Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg and Missouri Senator Josh Hawley. 37% of teenage girls between 13 and 15 were exposed to unwanted nudity in a week on Instagram. You knew about it. Who did you fire? Senator, this is why we're building all the tools. Who did you fire? Tools. Senator Hawley pressing Zuckerberg even further. There's families of victims here today. Have you apologized to the victims? I, Would I'm, you like to do so now? Well, they're here. You're on national television. Zuckerberg then stands up and turns to face the families and apologizes to them for their suffering. However, earlier in the hearing, Zuckerberg testified that social media is not responsible for mental health issues children are facing. Mental health is a complex issue, and the existing body of scientific work has not shown a causal link between using social media and young people having worse mental health outcomes. We share the committee's concern and commitment to protect young people online. Congress has introduced several bipartisan bills in the last year addressing some of the social media safety concerns, but lawmakers have failed to pass any of them into law. South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham saying Congress can no longer rely on social media companies to police themselves. If you're waiting on these guys to solve the problem, we're going to die waiting. There you have it. And not everybody attended that hearing today either. Missing from today's hearing were reps from YouTube. Natasha, back over to you. All right, Linda, thank you.